Hey YouTube, it's Mitch at MyMind.com. Today we're going to be looking at five Cydia tweaks that will improve your notification center. The first one we're going to look at is called Status Peak. And Status Peak adds your status bar when you're gaming. So if you're inside a game, we're not going to worry about the game, so don't worry about that part. Normally at the top up here, if you swipe down, you get the little grabber and then you could pull down your notification center. Now if you swipe down, you get your status bar. That way you have any information you might need up there like the time, battery status, anything else you in there you might want to see. It's pretty awesome. It's called status peak. And there is a few settings you can change. It's mainly just styling issues. You can round the corners, things of that nature. And right here it is. You can change some of the blur from light to dark to solid black. Here's Notification Center. If you'd rather have the bar at the, at the bottom of the screen as opposed to the top, you can turn that on. And it does require a respring, so keep that in mind. And you can hide your Chevron, which, you know, we're not really worried about that right now. We're not on the lock screen. So, guys, that's pretty much it. Status Peak. You can get it for $0.99 cents in Big Boss. This one's called NC Obey, and you can get it in the Big Boss free. And what it does, if you swipe down on the left side of the notification center, it opens the today view. If you open in, if you slide down in the center, it opens the all. And if you swipe down on the right side, it opens the mist. Now, what's really cool if you swipe down and you slide your finger, see that moving as I swipe? So you can actually change your mind as you are swiping. To pull down if I want to pull down on the mist I can just slide that over there and there is a few different things you can change and we'll go into the settings here and look around and we we'll go to NC obey and here you can hide the tab bar if you want to and it does require a respring for anything that changes in here here's the change while dragging that I showed you and here's an auto mode if you'd rather it open to this delay to the today view if there's no pending notifications then that's exactly what it will do each time you swipe down it'll be in the today view if there's no notific new notifications come in okay and you can also notice down here at the bottom you have your status bar see my service no service down here time and all that that's that's uh pretty awesome how they've done that you also have a default section and this is if you want it to open into the today, the all, or the mist. That's going to be left up to you. You can turn that on and hit respring. And it will always open to that particular category. Okay. So if you swipe to the left, it opens today. In the middle, you get the, the all. And on the far right, you get the mist. Pretty cool. NC Obey. You can get it for free in the big boss next one we're looking at is called better nc7 you get this one free as well and inside the settings here you have an enable toggle and you have a long long list of things you can hide things you can turn on so this is definitely going to be something that you're just going to have to go through and set up for your personal preferences whether you want to hide the x the yahoo logo i sort of get tired of looking at that Hide this top separator, the bottom separator. Hide all the separators. You know, that's going to be left up to you. If you want to show clear instead of the X's, hide the Today tab, the All tab, the Miss tab. Uh, and I'm going to go for the All tab. I'm going to turn that on. And anything you do in here requires a respring. And I'm actually going to hide the grabbers for all of those. And preview lines, you can change the height of those. I'm going to set those about right there in the center and let it go and hit apply, respring, and see what it looks like. Now let's drop the notification center down and see how it looks. We got, we got rid of the all tab. Now we only have today and missed. And it looks a lot better if you ask me. Okay. So guys, that's pretty much it. As you can see, you know, it, it's cleaned it up a great deal. It's called Better NC7. Grab it. It's free. The next one we're looking at is called Volume Mixer. You can get this one for $0.99 cents in the Big Boss Repo, and it's compatible with both iOS 6 and 7. 
What this does, guys, it allows you a way to adjust any of your volume directly from your notification center just by dropping it down like this. And you can see you can adjust your ringtone and your audio video volume separately. You know, you may turn down the Bluetooth headset without turning down your music is what I'm getting at. So it's pretty cool. And you can customize it a great deal. You know, you can change the colors of all these different sliders and things like that. And it's inside the settings app here. If we go in here and open up, you'll see. First thing you need to make sure you do whenever you install the tweak, go into Notification Center. And make sure you pull up Volume Mixer under the Include section. You will not be able to find it if you don't. Then when you do that, go to Volume Mixer, and in here, first you can choose your categories. If you don't have a Bluetooth headset or headphones, you could turn those two off and only use the three. Then you could come in here and change the skin if you want to change it from something from iOS, let's say, to a metal look. The left slider color, you maybe you want it white. And the right slider color, maybe you want it blue. We'll change this up a little bit. Text color. You know, we'll say uh, anything bright in here. We'll go purple. And thumb grabber, it don't really matter about that. Go orange. This is going to be a funky looking thing, guys. So we'll go ahead and hit a respring and see what this looks like after we come back. All right, let's see what it looks like. We'll drop it down, go to the all section. And as you can see here, looks pretty good. I don't have any problem with that. I think it looks pretty nice myself. And with just using those three, to me, it just looks a lot better with not, not so much going on. And that's called Volume Mixers. You can get it for 99 cents. The last one we're looking at is called NC Fold. And this is one awesome little tweak, guys. You can get it for one buck. And I strongly suggest it. It makes your notification center look so much cleaner. And you can see what it's done. It's actually folded up all the different categories. And if you want to open one of them up, you just tap it and it'll drop it down. Like I just did with AppNet, you can do the same thing with Instagram, AppAdvice. And see, before, all those were open and you couldn't close them. This tweak actually allows you to close them all up and makes it look a lot better. Okay? And I think it's very, very well worth the $1.00. So let's go into the, the settings here. You see, if you want to turn on or off anything, you can actually add split lines, things like that. You can do quite a bit with that. Turn on message, number of titles, message, multi-line message preview, recent items unlimited, all that. And it all boils down to whatever you want, guys. You see right there, that looks pretty awesome if you ask me. Grab it for a buck. Hope you enjoyed this video. That's five tweaks. It'll help you with your notification center. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Share this video. It really helps us a great deal. And keep coming back.